The upper eyelids and the brow is really one structure. Think about it this way. If the forehead falls down and the eyebrows fall down over the eyes, regardless of the excess skin of the upper eyelid, they're gonna look heavy. Conversely, if you have the extra upper eyelid skin, often it's gonna make the eyebrows distorted as well. So often we need to address both together. When we think about the upper eyelids, it's a simple procedure. It's quick. The recovery time is four or five days. It just includes taking, getting rid of the extra skin as well as any herniated fat to the upper eyelid. Often, uh, people come in complaining that they look tired. The reason they look tired for the most part are the bags or the deep depressions in the lower eyelids. When we perform surgery on this area, it's unique in a case-by-case -case basis. The things we address are, number one, extra skin, number two, herniation of fat or bags, and number three, the depressions or the tear troughs. When we're only addressing the bag or the tear trough, there don't need to be any external incisions, so the recovery time is much faster. For those that have extra skin, there's an external incision that um, requires us to place some sutures, and recovery time for that can be up to two weeks.